RuneScape, but I only have an amazing weapon in my bank, max stats, and I'm a professional PKer. Come and watch me make money. Yeah, we've all seen those videos, but what if you have none of those things? Are there creative money makers with no requirements that can make you bank on RuneScape? Today, I'm going to find out. I'm making a brand new account starting from scratch using methods old and new, and this video won't end until I make 50 million GP. Here we go, I've got nothing in my bank, but wait, I don't even have a bank yet. Wow, fancy seeing you here. The stronghold of security. I really am a trailblazer, but you know, 10K is 10K. I've got a plugin tracking my time played down here, which is a pretty cool addition to RuneLight. My first purchase, a ring of dueling. When you've got nothing, your best bet is to find a poor vendor that you can take advantage of. Shanty's shop has a lot of items that go for significantly more on the grand exchange. And that's the last of the GP on a bunch of random stuff. To buy all this stuff took barely any time at all. Actually pretty good for a shop method. Let's just bang all this in the G and see what happens. How much? Okay, about 80k. I'm going to invest this money into something I've wanted to go back and see for a while. The moment of truth. Will there be too much competition once the game updates to buy steel nails? Or is this still an insane no requirements money maker? We're looking good so far. Only time will tell. No, I've run into a world. Someone's been here. Someone else is doing this. Here we go. A full stock of a thousand steel nails. These cost three each. And the trusty PvP world comes in. I've spent my cash stack there. And we've got nearly 23k nails. I'm going to undercut these at 22 each. That's 500k I made, even with competition. While I wait for that, let's get some dough. This is one of the coolest money-making methods I've seen in a while. And it is burning food. Luckily for me, I'm one cooking. So I'm primed and ready for this money-maker. Burnt bread sells for 2 to 3k a pop. So let's get this bread. Uh, let's get this burnt bread, actually. Look at that loot from the first inventory. If you're wondering what this is about, you can't trade burnt food on the Grand Exchange, so people see it as collectible and pay a lot of money for it. The problem is that my cooking level goes up, of course, from cooking bread. I'm 16 now. I think I'm going to pause it there and move on to my next food. Rabbits. I need spits as well. In order to get burnt rabbit, you can't just cook rabbits because when you burn a rabbit, you get burnt meat, and that is worth nothing. To get a burnt rabbit, you have to cook it on a spit. Why? Is this not working? Level 25 making, you joking me? Do people burn down the Grand Exchange to protest capitalism? Here we go, 25 making, I can now spit roast rabbits. Uh, what the fuck? Now this is why I've chosen raw rabbits as my next burnt food, because you have to put the spits in the rabbits, which is a tedious process. And as we can see now, I want to burn them. Please let me burn one. There we go, the burnt rabbit. I don't get burnt meat. And these go for 6K each. The problem with this is, once you get a higher cooking level, once again, I'm just cooking them. It's so annoying. There we go. All rabbits done. Two hours with 55 cooking. Luckily, I actually get the spits back, so I didn't lose any money on the spits. And I can actually start the roasted rabbit. Is anyone going to buy this for one coin each? What? How's there a market for that item? That is outrageous. I'm saying that like it's not ridiculous that the burnt rabbits have a value. I've got a buy. We're doing 6k each here for the burnt rabbits and I think 3k for the burnt breads. That is 3.6 mil for two hours of burning food. We're on four mil cash already. That's so nice. You could also do my next activity with no requirements. In fact, it's absolutely free. Download Raid Shadow Legends through the link in the description. Raid is back, the MVP partner of this channel. I'm always a big fan of how much you can do in Raid. There's so many different challenges to take on, so many different champions, and it can get really strategic with how you set up your team. Above all others, my favorite champion is Hellfang the Chomper. You know what's crazy? Raid have their own show out right now on YouTube, Call of the Arbiter, and they're adding some of the new characters from the series as champions. The first is Artak, a mighty orc warlord that's going to be available to everyone for free. All you have to do is log into Raid on seven days between now and July the 24th. And there is more. Use my 
my link in the description or scan the QR code to get an epic champion knight, errant, and a ton of other amazing bonuses. Now I've got some money behind me. I can invest into a bit of a better method right here. I've done this before as a money maker, so I'm curious to see how it holds up two years on. A lot of people always complain that these don't work anymore. Bagged plants are used by rich people for early game farming, and I'm going to go for the bagged plant ones here because they cost 1k each. If I buy 10, that's about 5k a world hop. The last set of securing the bag, the plants. <laughs> all right, just take the screen markers off and sell all these. So I bought over 3,000 and now I am worth six mil. I'm actually gonna leave some of them out of this sell offer and train my own farming and construction up. So this is why bag plants are worth so much money because they just trivialize early game farming and people make new accounts all the time so they'll pay a premium. And here we go. 30 farming. I'm going to keep the garden center going and we are headed to the farming guild. I can now grow myself some trees. I'll see you in 24 hours. I need to go to the farming guild, just garden pie up, boost up to 45. And we're here. There's a bank right here, and then the garden supplier right here also sells all of the same stuff. So it's going to speed it up, and I can make a lot more per hour. I'm upgrading to bagged plant threes. They cost just over 10k, but if I buy five per world, that's anywhere from 7.5 to 10k a world hop. Let's just chuck them in for 12k each. Oh, the first batch sold straight away. Six mil. Nice. So doing this method, you can buy around 2,000 bag plants per hour. With a margin of around 1.5k each, if you sell them for 12k, that's 3 mil per hour. There were some minor liquidity issues, but if you're patient, they do sell for over 12k for thousands of volume per day. Right, I'm done with this. That is enough bagged plants bought for a lifetime. Something else I'm gonna retest real quick are crystal keys. Look at that, 9.7k for a tooth off. That seems crazy good. Stick a loop and a tooth together. And the margins on that are insane. You know the drill. <laughs> We're going to be comboing these and it's about how fast you can click. This is why these methods are so good because they're kind of annoying to do. I love playing RuneScape. I did mess up on the ratios a bit so I've got more loops at the moment. But they just sold for 21k each. That's crazy. This is such a big cash stack increaser. If I do all these keys, it should be around 1.5 mil profit. In we go. Let's go 21k again. GL to me. Okay, not all of them did sell. Even if I go a bit lower, I'm still getting multiple mils per hour from doing this. Okay, nice. We're up to 22 mil now. And the reason why I can sell these keys for a nice little markup, sold them for 20.7k each there because the crystal chest, what they used to open, the average loot is down here. Look, 23k. So they're making profit opening it. I'm making profit putting the keys together. Why not do both? But first, I need to get my keys back. All right, let's open these up. I've moved my house over to Tavoli so I can run straight down because of course the crystal chest is just here in this building. Here we go. It's like positive expectation gambling. Rude bars are a super drop. Oh my, we're getting some nice early loots here. Let's make some money. We have reached 1,000 chests open. All right, that's all the keys done. The loot is looking pretty juicy. 26 mil, all said and done. Started with 22. Oh, we're nearly on 27. So I've made about five mil there. We're doing one more round. The money is just too good. All right, let's send them. The keys have served me well, but I'm moving on with 29 mil. I'm investing into some passive income. I mean, it's been ages. There's no way this stuff hasn't been filled. The moment of truth. Oh, they're looking good. So giant egg sacks are actually incredible money. Every time you open one of these, you get 100 red spider eggs. And with many entry swapper, I can just spam open them into my bank. So that is some crazy profit. We've gone from 5.1 mil to 5.5 mil in two minutes. Next up, I'm reaping the benefits of the overnight trading with master scroll books. I can trade these in for Watson teleports 
which teleport you to this house. I've literally just used one to get here. When you trade in these books, you get 10 to 20 Watson teleports, and that averages ours at 14.5, which leaves you with a nice profit. Okay, so 100 books bought for 14.7 mil. And all the scrolls have sold for 16 mil. That's 1.3 mil profit in no time at all. Yeah, I don't fancy grinding right now. We're doing this again. Let's move on to a timeless classic, rune plate legs. Plate legs, plate skirts, and chain bodies. Now these will constantly buy because they're always coming into the game and they'll never really change price because they're pegged by their ALK value. There you go. If you're patient, this stuff will always buy. And with the rune emporium, we're heading over to the city of Narda. Sedu's shop buys rune for more than its ALK price. A set cost me 105k but I can sell it for 115K. So I make 10K profit per world hop. And that sounds like good money to me. I'm not the biggest fan of shop hopping methods, but where there is money to be made, I'll be there to try and make some money, especially with no requirements other than some cash. Okay, we're on 35 mil now. That is very nice. I'm pretty busy right now, so why not just send this method again? Guess who's back? With 330 of each set. All right, we've run it up to 38 mil, and I am excited for the next method. This moneymaker is a very new one. Laren's keys have only actually recently become tradable, and they're trading for around 150k each right now. So I'm spending my bank on them because the big Laren's chest has an average loot value of 159k. Well, it's 160k. That's 10k profit per key. I don't want to be dying from my bank though, so we're going to be getting some hit points experience from the witch's house. The keys have bought 250 Laren's keys ready to go. And why not just risk them all in the wilderness at once? Let's make some money. Right, well, at least I got out safely. That's the main thing. But the profit here is left somewhat to chance. I only got two Dagon High hats from 250 keys, which is really unlucky. How much did we make? I lost a lot of... I lost four mil. Um, I've got to send this again. <laughs> I've got to send it again. I can't be down. Thank you. Finally. Getting a Dagon High top and bottom does change things massively. And I did think it would change things as I proceeded to get four tops in one trip. How much have I made? It's not much. I thought it should be way more than this. Um, I'm confused. Maybe the wiki is wrong. So it turns out that you can only get manta rays and sharks if you have a certain fishing level. And if you don't, it really affects the profit because you get tuna and swordfish and lobsters instead. So for people with good fishing, this method is upwards of 10 mil per hour. But for scrubs like me, it's bad. Lauren's keys are binned. So I'm going to finish up to 50 with some good old faithful methods. I should have completed the goal. There we go. 50 mil cash from nothing on a fresh account in 11 hours. Well, I did do some hopping methods and I was logged out a lot. So it's a bit misleading the time here. I was going to do 100 mil, but Laren's keys failed me. So yeah. Download Raid Shadow Legends through my link in the description or scan this QR code. New players get insane bonuses and an epic champion.